main, so the primary endpoint of the, this study uh, was progression phase survival. So as as the uh, as you know, the, the majority of ixazomib studies are placebo control studies, which is not uh, which is not usually the case. So that's a very large so that's a large phase three international placebo control study. Uh, having e either lenalidomide dexamethasone and placebo versus ixazomib lenalidomide and dexamethasone. So the, the primary endpoint is PFS or with all other uh, traditional secondary endpoints, uh, duration of response, time to response, uh, uh, survival, response rates, etc. And um, unfortunately, the study uh, uh, did not meet its primary endpoint of PFS. Uh, so the uh, so from a statistical point of view, in fact, we, uh, we, we did not meet the threshold for uh, statistical significance. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, from a clinical point of view, the study did show that the addition of fixazomib uh, resulted in a, in a clinically significant benefit in favor of fixazomib with a 13.5 months benefit uh, in terms of um, PFS versus lenalidomide dexamethasone and placebo. So that's a quite strange situation. The, the median PFS for uh, lenalidomide dexamethasone placebo was about 21 months, and it was uh, approximately 35 months for ixazomib lenalidomide and dexamethasone. So it's, a, you know, uh, again, it's a 13.5 uh, months uh, benefit, but uh, uh, it did not uh, meet the threshold for statistical significance, which is unfortunate. But uh, nevertheless, it's, it's, uh, it's a result which is, uh, from my point of view and from the point of view of many uh, experts, uh, this is something which is clinically significant. And one important point is that looking at combinations of uh, EMEs on proteasome inhibitors, we did not have so far uh, uh, triplet oral regimens. So when you bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, they have an IV, the, the PI is an IV drug. So we did not have so far a totally oral triplet regimen having a PI. So ixazomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone is the first triplet Having a uh, having a PI uh, in combination with uh, with uh, with lenalidomide, and so this is uh, uh, something important for patients who, who do not want to travel to to clinic or who are just not able to travel to clinic. So it's uh, so you have a, a, a all oral regimen, which is extremely uh, which is convenient and which is very easy to deliver, in fact, because as you know, ixazomib, this is only uh, days one, eight, and 15. So it's basically, uh, these are three pills in a month. So, and, uh, and lenalidomide is, uh, is from day one to 21 with a one week break. So it's, uh, and this is low dose dexamethasone, which is weekly as well. And so this is a this is an easy this is a regimen which is uh, easy to administer, and which could be uh, quite helpful for uh, older patients patients not able to to travel, or patients who have to travel for a long period of time. Uh, um, I, I I don't know if it is the case for the majority of U.S. patients, but I, what I can tell you is that in uh, in Europe, you know. Patients, they they travel, uh, they travel a lot. I would say. We have patients they need one to two hours to come to clinic, so it's uh, it's easy at the age of 50, but at the age of 85, it's not <clears throat> it's not the same. So this is a uh, this is an effective regimen which could be uh, particularly helpful for uh, older patients. Uh, also, importantly, uh, the study had some. Uh, Subanalysis, so which were planned uh, by by the protocol, and and for example, we uh, we looked at patients with a, a iris cytogenetic, so the the worst patients, I would say, and if you look at patients with iris cytogenetic, so these patients do usually 
uh, badly with the majority of regimens. And uh, in, the, in patients with iris myeloma, the combination of ixazomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone is, uh, uh, has also a, a quite a clinically significant benefit over lenalidomide and dexamethasone alone. So it's the, the median PFS was uh, 23 months versus 18. So that's also something which is important. So you have uh, not only a benefit in the uh, ITT population, but this benefit is also uh, noted in, in those patients with iris myeloma. And when you, the, the, another comment and, uh, is that when you, and going back to the VRD, as I said before, VRD is, uh, so bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone is, is extremely well established in many countries, including in the US. And, uh, and so if you look at uh, uh, median PFS times with VRD across different studies, and uh, uh, some of them uh, international studies, but many of them done in, in the US, in fact. So the, uh, one important VRD study is called the SFOG777 study. Another important study having VRD was reported at HASCO this year is uh, referred as the endurance study, which was a VRD versus KRD study. And so in, in, in all these VRD studies in the front line, uh, in older patients or transplant ineligible patients, let's say, uh, the median PFS was about three years. So in, in, in other words, this ixazomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone regimen looks quite similar to, uh, to VRD. Uh, um, Across different uh, across different studies which have been published in the recent years, so it's um, I, I would say you could you could support the view that it's an equivalent of VRD with a totally oral regimen, and uh, and in that sense that could be uh, useful for some patients. Mm -hmm.